How's it going dudes and welcome back to Star Ocean and looks like everybody's already ready to go Yeah, let's get in here Looks like this is gonna be its own maze of sorts. You sure we can get through here? I can. I was just in there anyway, so I'll lead the way It would seem there are yet enemies afoot however best proceed carefully Gotcha also, hopefully I fixed the audio this time. Huh? Something noticed me. Clearly it wants me to go that way, okay. Will this door open? No. Whatever's noticing me can't... Oh wow. And is it? Yeah, it's down. Don't see anything in here. Don't see anything that looks particularly like a chest. Zombies. Oh, she teleports. And into the wall you go. Into the wall. There. Oh, that guy made him go into the rafters. Don't. Yeah, I don't see anything. But. There was a vertical transport system somewhere in the area. What's that now? Oh, you mean like an elevator? Just a cargo transporter. Oh, tre treasure chest. Sweet. That's what they look like here. Slightly futuristic. I don't think it matters which way I go. Target sighted. Oh, I missed something. Yeah, I missed something. Head and back. Uh, come on. Where'd it go? I, okay, yeah. I put the habit. Threat neutralized. Sweet. Our fridge. And then here. No, I think it's just a shortcut. And I think. Sweet. Yes, I can break these. Oh, it is not a shortcut because I cannot get through there. Oh, where's the other? Okay, basically turn left. Or right. Which means there's nothing here. Target sighted. Yeah, it's in the other. My guess is that this is probably blocked off I think I have to go to the other side before I go that way which looks like a teleporter oh boy that move lagged it And you 
got wrecked. Missing something. Oh, I guess they are. Huh. Oh. Something is noticing me. Something was definitely noticing me. Okay, I kind of want to see what that little teleporter was all about. What are you about? Oh, it led me here. I can't get through. So just that so this was uh, pointless. That was extremely pointless. I mean, there are, there are enemies in rooms that I can't get to. Small organic life form detected. There's a rabbit in here? There's a rabbit in here. Um... Oh, this is a boss. Hmm. This might be a mistake. Will you just... Okay. That's one. Okay, that was not a boss. I don't know what that was. Well, hello? We're in the observation deck now. I see how I get to the rabbit now. Alchemic, alchemist martyr. Never mind, I do not know how to get to the rabbit. Sweet! This map is so confusing. Ooh, breakable chest. Great. Whatever. Sweet. Also, I can go through here for some reason. There better be something down here. I mean, there's something. I don't. I just don't know how to get out of it. Hmm. Okay. Going back. The war here. That's where we're supposed to go. I don't want to go there just yet. So heading back down there. I 
I made a mistake in coming here first. Okay. So the rabbit would be this way. Not this Enemies way though. Are anything else casting magic? There we go. I'm here for you. Oh, does she? Okay. Weird. Nothing in here. Okay, nothing in here. The chest is down this way. I don't know how to get to the rabbit. Like legit, I don't know how to get to the rabbit. Aside from having to go get over there somehow. And the teleporter is just like. It would technically be right above us? I guess it would? Cooking something. Yeah, it's long, so I can't get through there. There's also enemies in there. I'm guessing... Have to unlock them later. All right, let's just continue onward then. I'm aware it's inconvenient. But we'll need to take this above first, before we can meet the turbo lift. It is a bit inconvenient. Who's noticing us? Also, why does this partnership look newer? Let's use the turbo lift here. The Colonel and the rest should still be down on the lowest level. Wait. But you can get around it. And the bunny. Wait, what's the point? Target sighted. Where? Over there. Sorry. Feel free to take anything you might find of use on the trip. You sure about that? I have no further use for any of it. Okay, come on. Destroy. Great. Neutralize. There we go. Where were you? I'm gonna go this way because there's a, supposed to be a chest. Okay. Animation loop. Alright. Really takes a lot of damage for that kick. Oh, that's good to know. Oh, okay. I guess they were taking care of that. Ooh. Gotta see what that is. Okay. It was a new weapon for only enough. Now 
nothing. No, 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 okay. Turn. Sorry, I keep checking the map. Prep for engagement. I'm just kidding. Roger that. Yeah. Neutralized. Now is the time to strike. Why is he not targeting anybody? Preparations complete. Firing. What are we shooting at? Oh, the second I thought that was going to be bad. Go this way first. Nothing keeps noticing me for some reason. There's a chest in here. Sweet. Right here. I think I just spent money on something I could have found. This door. Sweet. You get spice. Okay. Not much I can do. Yeah. Sweet. And here we are. Enemies up ahead. That was fast. Hey, you're so powerful! Alright, which way? Go the short way first. Sweet! Oh! Oh! I'll come back here. Especially this area over here doesn't have anything. Okay. Something keeps noticing me, I can hear it. But there is a hole here. Huh. So now I'm past this door. Let's get past this door. Nice. Or whatever these things are. Hey, don't. Where'd they all go? I've weakened the target. Threat neutralized. Okay, good, we're done. I don't think that was necessary. It's so jarring seeing something so bright and shiny, shiny and new next to something so, you know. Oh, I could have just ran up that. Scaring. No. What's the point of this? 
That is the point of this. Wait, was it supposed to be a... I think that was just the way back up. And that's just the way back up. Yeah. I mean, it's just... I feel like there should be a way... Oh, I think I did find it earlier. The way up to the rabbit. But I was too dumb to realize it. Wait, where am I? Oh, that means I have to head back. My bad. I'll probably get the rabbit some other time. Don't get cocky. Say goodbye. Just firing. Gotcha. Firing. Come on. Now it's done. Yeah. Gotcha. Firing. 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 Oh, I had it. Okay, we're done. Where are their beds? Look, that's supposed to be quarters. Where are their beds? Did I ever go over here? Where does this take me? So, oh, it just takes me back down here. I don't think I saw what was on this side though. Wait... That's where the slide is. Okay, so that's just a short... Looks like a shortcut down. Everybody in? And doesn't matter. Uh, where are we going? Let's head to the bridge. I'm curious what it looks like. That doesn't really make sense to me. And it looks like any other bridge. Alright. Head it back down. Lower deck. But this is how I get to the rabbit. Wait, did that door open? It did. I know something here. I missed the kick. Are we done? Secure. Now we're done. Sweet. Heroism. Or heroism. No one's red and can't get through it. This one just has a bunny in it. Back to the little bunny. Not fast enough. Okay, I think that's everything here.
Because we're down here again, it's pointing me back towards the other one. And now, I should probably save it. Alright. It looks like they're here. I wonder what they could be up to. Ah, our visitors. Let them enter. Uh... I think we found out what they're up to. Colonel... Gaston... Emperor... Uh, that's... Valange and Gaston! They have, um... Remarkable. To think that a single being could destroy a ship that sails the ocean of stars. <laughs> You're talking like you saw it with your own eyes. It's not like you commanded the attack. You may take it that way if you wish. Scorpium would not attack those unrelated to the network, at the request of those who have yet to be successfully integrated. What is this, Colonel? Why does the Emperor know so much of the Scorpium? A simple reason. Is that a Duma? Duma? Huh? That's a Duma too? Right. This particular Duma was dispatched to the planet Veer. It came with us when we fled our homeworld. I... I didn't know anything about this. Colonel Gaston! Explain yourselves! So, you want to integrate now, huh? Did those two whisper some sweet somethings into your ear? I found the Scorpion Probably. ideology espoused by Valange and Gaston to be most compelling. I realize with certitude that this is the future I sought. Therefore, I will have Duma examine the suitability of the races of this world. In good time, I shall have all inhabitants of this planet integrate with Scorpio. Princess Leticia, your wedding ceremony with Gerard was meant to serve as a glorious prelude to this. You mean to say that you attacked Osirius and Nilbeth to subjugate the world? And Pretty force much. the population of the entire planet into integration with Scorpium? Subjugate? Force? What a lamentable misunderstanding. Integration is the path to transcendent evolution. It, it will guide it, I don't the think citizens it's a of the Empire and the Kingdom to happiness. That is not possible. Not a single soul in Nilbeth would wish for such a thing. Regardless of whether they wish it or not, such a future is now their fate. Even as we speak, no, the Scorpion not. Sovereign is traversing this way to collect me. Sovereign? So cybernetic life forms have leaders like kings and emperors too? There is no leader rank corresponding with the term mm. Sovereign within Scorpion. My special Duma. Have you considered that your understanding of Scorpion may not be all there is to know? Impossible. And yet this is another aspect of Scorpion. Am I not correct, Valange, Gaston? Have they been no. integrated? No! Lola, stay with us! What you speak of will never come to pass. Then your journey yeah. ends here. We cannot have you interfering with the Emperor any further. Amuse yourselves with them until the Sovereign arrives. Yeah, we're gonna stop you. As you wish. My lord! And here we go. Oh, ow! I didn't even get a chance to do anything. Oh, that was a lot of damage. Ash 
That did nothing. Oh, what? We are quite busy, as you can see. Be seeing you. What? What? I calm down the half. One of them down the half elf, and the battle ends. Hey, don't they seem stronger than before? So, this is the might that comes from integrating with Scorpion. This is too much for one man to wield, Baldor. Why do you seek such power? Yes, too much power for one man. Your words strike true. For I, and eventually all who dwell on this world, will transcend the limits of a mortal and obtain the power of the divine. You just sent a cr power like crazy the person. Baldor! Are you? It is time. They're transferring. Crazy. Get back here. We shall meet again, my dear children. Again, when he says that, I just think crazy. Damn it! <sighs> that you, Antonio? Ray. You okay? We're gonna be there within the hour. Got it. Contact me again once you arrive. Everyone is currently planet side. Copy that. Uh, I just got confirmation that the unidentified ship you mentioned broke orbit and entered subspace warp. What the hell happened? Yeah, I'll tell you later. Uh, understood. Anyway, just hang tight. Antonio out. Yeah, I think this is something better told in Ray, person. Will you not take me with you? You want to go after Bulldor? Yep. Not quite. I wish to go forth and protect this kingdom. No, this entire planet. If Bulldor means to integrate everyone on this world, then I cannot sit idly by as someone who claims this place as their home. Let's head back to the royal city for now. Yeah. Ray! Look, I hear you. It's great that my brother's coming, but if I take you guys along with me now, everyone back at the castle would think I'd kidnapped you. And a certain someone is likely to make a fuss. Yeah. And just who are you referring to? Albert. At any rate, better to sort things out properly before we leave. I don't think both of them. I understand. Ray, are you okay? Yeah, yeah, we're fine, Chloe. But, well, I don't really know where to start. For now, let's meet up outside the Tyrannus. Yeah, uh, see you guys there. You got a visual on us, Ant? Great. Transfer us up in about three minutes from now. This is... I understand how determined you all are. But from our side, we really want to maintain good relations between His Majesty and Dr. Marcus. Mm -hmm. I understand. I will go and request their approval. Yeah. And when you're ready, all you need to do is press that button. Gather everyone who wants to go out into space, uh, choose some place discreet. Understood. I'll be waiting. Got All right. It. Uh, Yo. Yeah. Feels like I'm finally home. Yo, glad to see you're still in one I piece. I see why it's yellow. So, you finally gonna fill me in on what trouble you've got yourself in? Man, you wouldn't believe me if I did. I assume you four are the crew of that Federation ship. Why aren't uh, Miss Leticia and Mr. Albert here with you? Nah, don't tell me I'm not going to be able to properly thank the people who saved my little bro. This is Marielle, Sayuri, Pike, and Casa. Everyone, this is my brother, Antonio Lawrence. Hello, I'm Lieutenant Marielle Alkenny, 
First officer of the Pangalactic Federation vessel Astoria. Astoria? Wait, isn't that the ship that shot... Uh, uh, hold it, hold it, Ant. I'll explain all that later. For the time being, I could sure use some grub and a fresh pot of gel. Follow me, everybody. Does he know where it is? I guess it's his brother's ship. Uh, this is a pretty hard story to swallow all at once. <laughs> I'm honestly amazed all of you are still alive. All thanks to my friends. Company mug. Mm. Oh, coffee, how I've missed you. I still can't believe the Federation would sink this low. And now you're saying there are renegade ships just slinking around. This isn't some kind of smokescreen to attack Vergold, is it? No, of course not. But... Poking Mariel won't give up any useful answers. He already did it. There's just too much we don't know. So let's just wait for my new friends, and then we can all go find out together. All go find out together, he says. <laughs> Yeah, and about that. So you wanna let aboard Marielle and her feds and even these locals from Aster 4 to go chasing after this Baldor and that Scorpium thing? Are you saying you can't do it, Antonio? This is to pay back our debt of gratitude as a Lawrence. I have no problem with that. However, Ray, I'm giving you command of the ship. This is a bit out of my league here. Should be a cinch for you, right? Since it operates the same as the Edis. Does it? Sounds good. And my hands will be full, so you explain things to Dad. <laughs> You're an ass. All right. I guess we're waiting until we hear from Leticia and the others. But aren't we all? I'll get Family, some rooms ready least. for you and your crew. Take it easy while you can. Better rest up after all that. I do wonder how Mariel and the rest are faring. But it does feel good to be back on a familiar ship for a change. Maybe I ought to head to the living quarters and catch some much needed sleep. Let's talk to people. We're lucky that Antonio is so flexible. I wouldn't have been surprised if he tossed us all out of an airlock. He might have. Ray, there was an incoming transmission. Please report to the bridge. Leticia and everyone must be ready now. Better head to the bridge and answer their call. Why is he in the fetal position? I mean, I, I, know he, I know he was like that earlier, but... I just kind of don't know why. Leticia, you ready to roll on your end? Ray, well, we have assembled everyone. All right, I'll initiate the transfer. Get somewhere you won't be seen. Hey, Antonio, I want you to meet my friends. Let's go welcome the princess and the others in the transfer chamber. Am I walking there or... Okay. Nina's freaking out. Welcome to my humble abode, your highness. Ray, this is your ship? <laughs> Not so different from the Tyrannus, huh? But it is so different. There are so many lights. Ah, well, this ship is up and running, I guess. Antonio, I give you Princess Leticia. I am Leticia Osterius. Thank you, once again. A pleasure, Princess. I'm Antonio. Raymond, you've been traveling with such a stunning beauty this whole time. <laughs> oh, well... <laughs> All right, everyone. Let's make for the bridge. We'll be taking off soon. Uh, I guess we won't be having any more guest characters. See that? There's your planet, Leticia. Aster 4. 
that is our planet? Our world? To think all of our struggles have taken place in such a minuscule space makes one feel insignificant. Yes, but it is so very beautiful. Mm-hmm. No doubt about it. They have two more. Right then. I suppose we'd best get going. Elena, Chloe, Miss Kenny. Roger. It's been so long. I'll uh do my best. We're counting on you, Aldous. Chloe, get us out of orbit. Keep thrusters at one fourth power. Exiting orbital trajectory. Thrusters at one fourth power. Alright, let's go. In the space. We have exited orbit. Now entering conventional space. All systems green. Right then. I guess our first priority is to chase that ship carrying Boldor and the others. I hope you're not intending to engage them. The Aldus won't stand a chance. Oh, yes, Ray. Here. This is from Lola. It is a record of the battle between the Scorpion battleship and the Akizuki from the Tyrannus. She hopes it will prove useful. Much appreciated. Okay, let's get this analyzed quick. I have no intention of taking them head on. Of course not. All right. If we compile this data first, we might at least be able to figure out where the hell that battleship is headed. Under normal circumstances, it would likely be their homeworld. It may be safe to assume they are returning there. No such location that would correspond with the concept of a homeworld exists within Scorpium. Is that so? Scorpium is a collective of life that forms a network which spans the galaxy. With enormous spaceships, traveling between artificial colonies and space stations. Well, couldn't those be considered their home planet? No. In this particular instance, all the bases and ships are also part of the overall Scorpium life form. That is correct. Hmm. So, you got any idea which one of these massive life forms they might be headed to then? The man known as Gaston contained many factors that differ from the current state of the Scorpium. Thus, the accuracy of any predictions we make will be low. Hey, hey, okay. Are you really telling me we don't have any leads right out of the gate? Mm -hmm. I mean, can't we use our long-range sensors to pick up their trail? Yeah, they're already way out of range of our sensors. <sighs> For crying out loud. <gasps> What's that? Okay, take it easy. It's the sensors picking something up. It might even be them. Chloe? I don't no, think it's him. It's a Federation ship. They're approximately 36 hours away. A Federation ship. They may be coming to apprehend Sayuri and I. Alright, it doesn't look like they're heading for Aster. Hmm. Wanna test our luck and try to make contact? Hmm. Unlike the Astoria, they are making no effort to conceal themselves. At this distance, the Aldis should be able to outrun them as well. Not so sure about this. Chances are they picked up our signal already. It'd be more risky to just sit around and do nothing. Ant, yeah. patch a signal through open comms. Roger that. Opening a line of communication. Connection established. Putting them on screen. This is Captain Raymond Lawrence, aboard the Vergoldian transport vessel Aldus. State your name and affiliation. This is the Pan-Galactic Federation battlecruiser, Bella Golf. And I am its captain, Curtis Aldrich. All right. I never you know expected that now. to meet a member of the Lawrence family in the middle of nowhere like this. It's an honor. Permit me to skip the formalities, Captain Curtis. What brings you out to this middle of nowhere? We're on route to our destination and in a hurry. Though I'm not about to share any more than that with the captain of an anti-federation Vergoldian ship. Understandable. So I suppose it's just a coincidence that you happen to be heading in the same direction as the Scorpium ship that we happen to be tracking? You... how do you know of the Scorpium? We just recently engaged a Scorpium vessel which had entered the Aster system. 
We've since determined that the ship was crewed by soldiers from the Federated planet of Veer. Captain Raymond, I think it may be best we exchange information. I should like to make contact with your ship. I must decline. You see, I was on board another ship, the Yetus, when it was taken out by an unlawful attack from a Federation battlecruiser not too long ago. Are you referring to the Astoria? I hear it was illicitly cloaked and attacked without warning. <laughs> oh, well, if you know about that, then I assume the Astoria must already be hung out to dry. Actually, they're currently on the run. What? <gasps> the Federation's oh. most advanced ship has gone rogue? Our ship, on the other hand, is in no such state. Transmit our logs to for gold if you like. We have nothing to hide. All right. We make for the site of an emergency mission. Though, at present, we could use all the information on the Scorpium that we can get. Fine. Send us a rendezvous point. We'll give you an estimated time of arrival once we figure it out on our end. Much appreciated. Wishing you a safe voyage. Over and out. Coordinates for the rendezvous point received. Our ETA is 10 hours, 57 minutes. Okay. Ray, uh, no. Captain, I think that we can trust him. I agree. We may gain some valuable information this way. Uh, you should be more worried about getting arrested. We have no reason to trust them or think that they have our best interests at heart. Arrested? Oh, yes. I suppose you're right. Either way, we still have 11 hours until we know for sure. Yep. All right, everyone. Let's take breaks and chill. Um, and uh, what of us? Right. <clears throat> Allow me this opportunity to give you all a tour of the ship. Raymond may be the captain now, but the Aldis is still my ship after all. Uh, I suppose it is. You have my thanks, Sir Antonio. He's a little freaked out. I wonder what Antonio has everyone up to. And I guess we'll figure that out in the next video. So if you guys enjoyed, hit that like button. And don't forget that bell. And feel free to comment down below. And thank you all for watching. Have a wonderful day. I'll see you in the next video.